Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Rise of the Robots campaign where we're trying to beat the game on legendary Iron Man difficulty with nothing but psionically active characters and a lot of sparks. You guys wanted to see robot action and I will bring you robot action. Today we're going to go into Operation Blood Wagon and we're trying to kind of hack that advent uh, station mainly because we want to counter that dark event. The specialist here is de facto a zero reward because we can't use a specialist and the fact that that is very difficult sort of tells me that not only the horde of losts are going to be there but probably also some sort of chosen i would if i were to take a guess it's probably the warlock but let's be surprised together command you should be aware we're detecting lost activity in this area our forces will need to be especially vigilant our forces are always always especially vigilant now we don't want anyone tired that's unfortunate roby and renman is also tired yeah we can't do that Good, instead it's time to get some rookies back in action. How about the DM and Halop and uh, one of our favorites here, True Rebel. Sounds like a plan. It certainly is. Make all of the items available. So we got a flamethrower, we got uh, the rocket launchers, we got the big massive weapons. Just out of curiosity, yeah, we don't have any new upgrades. That's fine. Again, another question. Oh, rookies cannot take personal combat sims. <laughs> I was just curious if I could put PCSs into their slots. The answer is no, you cannot. The game does not really think that you would ever play with rookies. Good. We got repeaters, we got um, a couple of mimic beacons. Let's take increased scope instead of the repeater. And whilst we're at it, improved magnetic um, rifle. I think two mimic beacons should be fine for what we're trying to do. And are we going to get a school check for a facility lead? The chances are really low. The alternative is a battle scanner, which has worked surprisingly well with this team. Just scouting out. Let's take the school check and the battle scanner both together. Means we only have two times blue screen rounds, but we really didn't have too much problem with the robotic units so far. And I am okay with, yeah, mixing up the equipment a bit. It also shows uh, you guys that it's not only needed to have mimic beacons and blue screen rounds, although that's probably potentially the two strongest pieces of equipment. There are alternatives that um, are pretty vi viable in my opinion. Let's go. Let us go. Perfect! We just landed on high ground as if the game would be telling us you get everything that you want. And look at that, the the drones have slightly changed. So just as the gremlin changes, these guys also get better drones. That's good to know. We have a long, long way to get all the way over there. There is fantastic high ground opportunities right over here. So uh, let's jump in and see if we can spot someone out. Glaive's the first one to approach. Just double checking what our hack capabilities are looking like now. Sparks were never absolutely known for their incredible hacking skills, but look at that. I mean, it's it increased from kind of single digit 10% to almost 30%. Still nothing that I would take, but as soon as it reaches that 50-50 level, and if the negative effect isn't too bad, 
you know, who knows? Good. Moving all of our forces closer to that high ground. And finally, Dagger also moves over there. Acknowledging really that we need to speed up getting as close as possible to the target. And I mentioned nine turns aren't super long. So that's the reason why I'm using a, fir a fast first turn. And you have seen me do uh, doing that a couple of times where essentially I'm I'm really sprinting as far as I can without going overboard. So for instance, this here double move, if if I would have been spotted out, I still have five more units to re react to it since I am not. <clears throat> we can simply take the high ground. Just realized, by the way, that the entrance is in the middle of of that's uh, that zone so we either take the long way around or dear Saiken you have to accept the fact that your guys will kind of walk through here but that might even uh, that might even trigger more hmm. And there could be more back here. Okay, so before we do something, let's think. That was an unforeseen turn of events. We got teamwork, so if he was to spot out someone, I would have had the teamwork to at least get him back into cover. Using the control key to direct their movement so that they're not accidentally being spotted out and the sparks of course have the advantage of just bypassing all of uh, this nonsense and moving closer so within two turns <clears throat> we really <clears throat> found ourselves in a quite comfortable spot one where i would say it is a good time to break cover because we don't want to go through this completely concealed Good. Let's make sure that we're feeding the kills to our sparks. Glaive here, our tank can certainly use that. And look at that, we've got four armor. That's what I call a tanky spark. And massive amounts of hit points. That's like, what, almost 20? That's not bad. I mean, yes, you can you can even do better uh, with um, heavy armor on a soldier but the point is these here come without any further investments you get a full package sort of for free All right, so let's, since we're no longer bound to stay concealed, we can very much start engaging. Just double checking what again was uh, the downside of not making it. I think someone was alerted. Yeah, that means the group is automatically tr considered to be triggered. I don't want to do that immediately because we don't know if there is a Chosen. Chosen usually shows up at the first time or the first round after you are being discovered. So now would be the time if a Chosen would show up. But it seems we're only fighting against Losts. That would be incredibly odd. Destroyed. 
If that's the case, it's going to be a relatively easy mission. Okay, so let's uh, start to clean up these losts. Good, we're going to here with our mech, just to get this guy down here. Overdriving to get the other loss. I don't like the fact that they are inside and potentially potentially threaten us. Okay, we can even hack the objective. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, that's 100% kill. Really, just a mission with losts. Can't believe that that would have been rated very difficult. That here wouldn't be bad. Uh, that would not be bad at all. Research time, not really needed, but this here would be fantastic. Nope. Unsuccessful on both of them. All right, reload. Moving up. And this should more or less be the end of the round. Overwatch reloading where necessary. Yeah, I'm wondering to what exactly is still left. As it's probably one like advent pack. Might as well hack and see if we can trigger it. Let's get a small pack of alloys. That's a 30% chance of being successful. Oh, nice, that's good. Great, we'll get like 20-ish extra supply, um, extra alloys. It's not bad. All right, moving up. Overwatching. I don't think that that tier is really the group of 
enemies that we're looking for. There must be one more group that I haven't seen yet. Gotta love the rookies and their continuous ability to miss important shots. That's one down. I'm on my way. We're feeding the kills to the max because they can benefit from it. I apologize for your untimely death. Remaining hostile threat destroying. My weapon requires reloading. We give him to the position. Good. So those might be the last ones that we've been looking for. And let's take our last stand on top of the roof here. Okay, we're blocking that entrance point. Just want to make sure they cannot Come up here. No life signs detected. And let's start eradicating them one by one. Good, we're overdriving just to reunite the team. That's a double move, we still got a shot left over. All right, apparently not in line of sight. Just for the sake of making a statement. Oh wait, that's destroying the target. Well, in that case, let's not make a statement. Roger that. Apparently there are only losses in here. I I really don't believe I really don't believe it. Like that was supposed to be a very difficult mission, and we're just looking at loss. That's about it. Gotta do a couple of things here. Number one, let's block this entrance. Number two, gotta clean up. Their punchlines are fantastic. I apologize for your untimely death. <laughs> That's something that a machine would say. Cannot think of a more polite way of saying, I got you. All right, feeding Vector the kills in the hopes of getting that big fat promotion.
Good. Not sure if there are really any more losses left over. Target destroyed. But we're pretty close to just killing all of them. Good. Everybody's reloading. Gotta be careful to not make too much noise. That's why it's triggering another spawn. Okay, well, finally. It was a true lost only mission. I don't know, guys. I mean, that's pro that was the easiest mission ever, but uh, it was fun to see how the lost got mercilessly slaughtered by angry robots. Let's just state the robots had the upper hand. That's, I guess, a fair way, a uh, fair statement. And here we go. Aliens sure know how to turn a planet into a Halloween theme park. Wow. Almost 80 kills, but still no promotion. We got some alloys. That was from the hack, not 20, but 10. And we got a lot of corpses. At least we also countered Alien Cypher. That would have sucked. The specialist is great, but here's the deal. You're not really going to get anything out of that. We can't use her. Good, we got more intel, but we're fine. The data uh, decryption will give us probably 70-ish intel. We're finishing making contact. Got that extra contact now, which is great. So that was a reward. Oh, nice. We got ourselves a shredder gun. I love shredders. Our inspiration did prove and 150 intel. Holy moly, that's yes. great. So yeah, going for plasma rifles. We're at the end of the mid game. But uh, interestingly enough, yeah, our training is slower than expected. So specifically the psyops are still at their beginning so to speak. They come online very, very late in the game. However, I gotta say, oh boy, he also has domination. Hell yeah. Both of them uh, now get domination training, which means two mind controls per mission. Ooh. That's going to be even worse for the aliens than I have thought. Okay, that is unfortunate. are still moving forward on the avatar project okay so let's assess what we can do we can only try to make contact here and then go for the new arctic region that will take at least two more days Perfect. Resistance network is not up and running. So unfortunately, we're going to take another five to seven days. And I would like to get the money for that like right now. Instead of scanning for it. Hmm. The major breakthrough was the, uh, the hidden the hidden dark event and that indeed has hit us quite hard. Let's get rid of that. Versa Corpse, Priest Purifier Trooper, don't need that. Let's 
So Archon Corpse. We can sell the laser site. I don't want to sell the beacon. So we're at like what? 100. We need another 90. Good. And this could all go. Two more mutant corpses. Hmm. The normal agility one. It's good, but we are probably not going to use it. I already have superior conditioning and we got another advanced conditioning, so that one can go. So we're down to we're almost there. I hate selling those resources. But we needed cash and we needed it fast. For I want to preserve as much from the Avatar countdown as possible. And the whole run was plagued by that inability to really counter it well enough. Good. We got an engineer, 100 intel, which is good because it allows us to make contact. Net net, by the way, we're better off building the tower first so that we can instantly make contact and then make contact instead of um, giving in to that desire to um, immediately make contact and then scan the six to eight days. So the tower takes less time and then we have the continent bonus. Just keep that in mind. We would get another engineer, that's uh, dearly needed, and 103 intel. So we would be fine on the intel. Just gotta rescue that VIP, I suppose. Still got enough time left. And in terms of building here, four more days until the supply drop. So once we actually stopped uh, the doom uh, clock, we will probably need to go for the Shadow Chamber just so that these missions are also available. We got enough research capacity and after plasma rifles, there isn't that much interesting research left that we could go for. Yes, that here will keep us busy for a couple of days, but I think it's fair to then transition into the Shadow Chamber. And with that, we would also have more storyline missions to go through. So it's not the end of the world. We're, we'll eventually get there specifically when once the storyline missions happen. But that major breakthrough from their side, well, that was unfortunate. I'm also not 100% sure, just gonna put that out there, how major breakthroughs work with um, permanent dark events. They are, so to speak, instantaneous, so they definitely work once. The question is, are they, since it's permanent dark events, are they repetitively coming? Because it's already the second major breakthrough and we also had one or two minor breakthroughs. So the game is really trying hard to ramp up that curve and a major breakthrough is one of the worst outcomes, but yet we had even worse um, uh, dark events so far. So game keeps it interesting. Although we are steamrolling the missions, the game itself keeps it interesting from uh, just the strategic layer, I would say. So next steps, do the mission, get the engineer. That engineer can then be deployed, for instance, to get uh, the proving ground materials faster. And then afterwards, make contact as fast as possible with the Russian area. Once we're there, I think we're going to be good. Let's just um, do the loadout here. Instead of the rocket launcher, we're going to do the shredder gun. That's going to be even bigger as a cone, uh, cone shape and it will deal a nasty amount of damage. So we're looking at 9, 8 to 11. That's going to suck 
for the enemies, not for not for us. Great. Unfortunately, we're still. It's my last comment. Unfortunately, we're still not capable of wearing equipment. And I was maybe I I misremember, but I was almost sure that you could equip at least ammunition to them. But maybe it was a mod that. Uh, that I'm mixing up like I said um, I never fully went all the way into three sparks so that was really none of my concerns at that time a spark here and there is good but uh, the rise of the robots is full spark mode and I hope you enjoy it if you do so uh, let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that sweet sweet like button that helps the channel grow and see you in the next vision bye bye guys